I might jinx it, but there's only an hour left, so I don't want to say what could go wrong, because I don't want to say that. But. Hello and good morning, everyone! Good morning, you guys. I have the shirt on. Oh my goodness, it's a vacation day. It is time to go on a vacation. That is the official kickoff to every family what vacation. What am I gonna do? What if I spill red punch down at one day? Guys, if go you've on. been here for a while and you know that when you see this shirt, it means vacay time, I want you to smash that like button because I have a feeling a lot of you have become very familiar with this shirt as it goes on every travel with us to kick off day one, which is where we're at today. It is day one. It is day one. It is time to load the car up, to get ready, enjoy the Long, 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 long. Because it's about road a trip. nine hour drive, and there is one section of road that I think it actually says no more gas or rest stops for like 250 miles. It's a it long might not be that long. Race. It's but like it is about three huge. hours, I remember. It. With I remember, right? nothing. It is like, we'll show it to you because we're going to go through it right now. But first, kids just got home from school. The way we're timing this is that we're trying to go pretty quickly after they get out of school because, as you know, they don't have school on Fridays. So we can extend this by an extra day plus the holidays. So we got four days we can take advantage of. In order to do that, we wanted to leave after school on Thursday, but we yep. do still have an orthodontist appointment for Rye Guy. He's got to run off to that. I'm going to get everything packed up as well as I can. Although mom's usually the one who really tetrises it in and gets it to fit just right. Yeah. I'll do the heavy thinking. lifting. You do the thinking. Perfect team. That's where we're at right now. Kids just got home. They're getting changed. They're getting ready to go. We're going to load all of this into the car. We've got bags, bags, Which bags. Actually not that much. I'm proud of us. I have to say, I'm pretty surprised. Like, I was like, where's the well, rest but of it? I'm like, we're going to go swim. Water's so cold. We're not going to be in the water all day. And we then at night it gets very chilly. Stuff, long pants, jackets, hoodies, and pants shoes. for nighttime. It's a variety of outfit selections that you need in a place like Lake Tahoe because you do go everywhere from like 85 during the day to pretty chilly at night. Probably 40s at night. But it is going to be the most incredible experience. We've got this beautiful house right by the water and we have a lot of fun activities on tap. So you're going to want to be with us for every single minute of this journey. Fry Guy's got his personal secret bag packed over there. That's what I'm talking about. Ready to rock vacation yeah. style. I've got a bunch of GoPro stuff over there. I'm going to try and condense some of that yeah, into that bag. Yeah, I think Brandon is single-handedly keeping GoPro in business, buying all of their <laughs> cameras, bags, all the Anything accessories. Anything they make, I like to buy the day it comes out because because it's that good. I actually kind of want one of those duffel bags. They're incredible. Yeah, it's really cool looking. And we've got these, a lot of snacks, some groceries, things for the house. You guys normally see us do suitcases. That's like typically across board what we do if we're flying. But we have the little thing on top of the van. I just feel like these just bend and mold and squish and move better up I think there. you're absolutely right. I think that's genius. I think these will squish at the top of the van very easily. Suitcases, a little bit better suited for airplane rides. So we're gonna get all of this loaded into the car and get on the road here in just a minute. We teased this a little bit yesterday, but we hadn't fully tested it or tried tried it out. We got a new DVD player in the car. We wanted to see if we could hook up the switch to it because for the first time we've got an HDMI port on the DVD player. We came out here, messed around with it a little bit. Didn't work at first, but bring in technical engineer Rye Guy over here. Let me just show you what we'll be doing on our road trip here. We are going to be doing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tournaments right here in the back. Oh, we've yeah, got controllers for everybody and it actually works. Hazy, hey, look, you can play your Princess Unicorn game oh. up here. You can play Mario Kart, anything you want. Is that going to be awesome? Yesterday, Hazy girl was riding her scooter and fell on her face. Look at that owie on her nose. Oh my goodness it is looking so beautiful just like you an amazing hack mom just came up with we've been road tripping for a while how do we just figure this out I've seen people do this whenever they travel they get these big bins which I actually had a couple left over from us doing our organization down in the cold storage I just put stuff in here I always put food in bags and then it gets stepped on and smushed and the really nice part is they stack high you can just put a couple in here what I think is incredible is that they are the exact size of the opening so you set one down in here it is literally end to end we can stack them up and across and then you don't have the bags rolling around everywhere yeah it's pretty awesome Oh, hi, crew. <laughs> Thank you. 
am marveling at this packing job right now. Now, of course, the car topper helps quite a bit of luggage up there, but this might be the least we've ever had stacked back here with room to spare. These bins, huge lifesavers. In the past, like mom said, we would just kind of put all the stuff in here, including life jackets. What that amounted to was like 20, 30 trips to the car for me whenever we arrived at whatever the destination was, just load after load of just whatever you could manage in your hands. Now, it's just a handful of bins that stack nicely, neatly, walk them right into the house, and we're there, which is good because we're gonna be getting in pretty late tonight. Just finished up our first of what I'm assuming will be a few potty stops, and that was here at the home, but it's now time to hit the road. We got about nine hours to Tahoe. That's not including breaks, but we should be getting there sometime late tonight, checking into our house. You guys ready to go? Yeah! Woo! We are heading into the pretty much great wide open nothing we have left officially Salt Lake City. If you guys were wondering how to have a successful road trip with a bunch of kids for long distances, you gotta load them up with snacks, some Nintendo Switches, grab bag of goodies. If you want to know more, you guys, mom actually posted a video on her personal channel, Mindy's Best. It goes over all the stuff that we have packed for this trip to have a successful drive out there to Lake Tahoe today. And as you can see, the kids are doing really well. Starting off, of course, with Switches. We got a brand new game for everybody to play so they don't lose the attention on that one quickly. And then as those things kind of start to wear down. We've got a bag full of fun stuff, coloring, puzzles, books, DVDs, the works, you guys. All the things you're gonna need to have a fun and safe trip. Still keep your sanity as parents up here in the front seat. That is critical because we are going into miles and miles, and I mean hundreds of miles of pretty much nothing as you look out either direction. We're actually gonna be going by the Salt Flats, the Great Salt yes, Lake the and the Salt Flats. Lake. That's kind of cool. It looks like it's snow off to the side. Mom mentioned we should probably try and do like a day trip to the Salt Flats and like take out the one wheel. Just so go do fun. some fun videos out there. I smashed the like if you'd like to see that or comment below because that could be a fun little day trip after the kids get out of school where we come out to the salt flats just have some fun and party out there crew actually just mentioned he could bring a dirt bike out that would look pretty rad out on the salt flats because it's like just flat for as far as you can see it looks like you're on like the surface of the moon or something it's just crazy so that could be a fun one you guys about 540 miles to go so buckle up we're on our way It's the lotion one? That's the one you wanted. This is Hazy's first blind bag of the trip, you guys. We're gonna try and do one, what, every couple hours maybe? We got four of them in here. She waits patiently, and then she gets to choose one of these white bags. She doesn't know what's in it. Gets to take it. What? I didn't get my toy one. I know, so now next time, on the next time at 4.30, you get to open another one, and maybe your toy will be in that one. Maybe you can put some lotion on it, it'll make the car smell really yummy. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good first one. I love it, Hazel. Blind bag thing, you guys, is something that mom, I don't know, did you invent that or did you see it on Pinterest or where did I you get it? I saw it on Pinterest. Either. It was years ago she did that and it was such a hit with the kids. We actually had blind bags for all the kids. That's what we call them. They're just like bag that you can't see through. She just collects a bunch of things from like the dollar store, the dollar section of Target. It's just kind of random, whatever, but it keeps the kids' attention and anticipation building towards that next one and it breaks up the trip for them because you can't just say, you've got nine hours left and then they just go, okay, I'll ask again in nine hours. They're but asking. I feel like it also helps with their behavior. Year. It's good for a lot of reasons. Huge hit with the kids on that one. Now these kids have gotten a little bit older for some of those dollar things. I think we just did it for Hazy this time. Sure enough, the entire time she's been asking, is it time to get the prize back yet? It's time to get the prize back. And instead of saying, are we there yet? You have to say, no, we're not there yet for nine hours. You can say, no, it's not time for your prize back yet. You've got 20 minutes. So it breaks it up a little bit better. Hazy's been so good, she's opened another baggie. What do we got, Hazy? <gasps> oh, a fun notebook. Is that good? Does it come with anything to write in it? I have a pen for you. We got a pen, you want a pen? You can do some drawing? Okay. <laughs> We are about halfway through the trip here, making our very first stop, you guys. I gotta say, I am very proud of the kids, very proud of the entire family. It's gone incredibly well so yeah, far. Yeah, it's gone really awesome. We've been making some good time. The fact that we are halfway in, like four plus hours yeah, into this, and this is our five. first rest stop, absolutely incredible. We haven't had to stop before this. Kids have been doing really well on potty We've breaks. Like We've been doing great on snacks. I'm gonna need to stop for food. First stop halfway through, gotta say, huge success so far.
loaded back into the car, ready to finish and conquer the second half of this trip. This is the part where it really goes into nowhere, you guys. If you thought the first part was a little sparse on scenery, it's about to get worse. But we do have a ton of fun to be had. We got our snacks. We are loaded. We freshly potty, which I'm sure you guys wanted to know. Now I'm drink more. But now we picked up a couple of drinks, so that might not be our last stop. We'll see how it goes. But back on the road, headed to Tahoe, making great time. Hazy's last bag, you guys. We are about 30 miles out of Reno right now. Getting very close, making great time. An hour left. What's the last one? Toy Story Bo Peep? I love it. I think there's two in there. There's two in there? Oh, is there another one in that bag? Mm, yes, it's Forky. Are you serious? Forky too? Yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic, you guys. That is the last bag that she will open before we arrive. I gotta say, I might jinx it, but there's only an hour left, so I don't want to say what could go wrong, because I don't want to say that. But the kids have been amazing. They've amazing! Been really good. Literally, it has been such a breeze. They've been so well behaved. They've been sharing. They've been kind. They've been playing together nicely. Like, it is very common for there to be issues and problems, and sometimes you regret even leaving your house. But this has not been one of those times. The kids no, have been, been great. Pretty good. And on top of that, we have not made any additional stops the entire time. So we are going to be looking at an arrival time of 8.40. That's 20 minutes before 9. We have made up some serious time on the road here and made no stops along the way. Remarkable trip, you guys. Sun is setting. It's going to be dark very soon. We're just about to hit Reno. And then it's a short trip of windy roads down into Lake Tahoe. And we will be there checking into our home tonight. We have arrived. We found the place. It was pitch black pulling in. It's so really We dark couldn't even video our arrival because we missed the house. We came back out around. It's got a gate off the main road into like a little driveway parking lot type thing. Yeah. Finally found it. We're just getting settled in. The place is a massive. It's the kids are choosing their rooms. Cabin. Very rad, like super old school vibe, but it's kind of fun. We're going to get the car unpacked, get the kids settled in, find their bedrooms. There's only like what, nine bedrooms here? Only nine bedrooms. That is how you survive a road trip with five kids. We only had four though. There is one more tip, I'll say one more tip to surviving a road trip with five kids. So the last tip, we forgot the very last tip on the it's how important. to survive a road trip with five kids. Send one of them with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got Maddie, we got Dan and Shell. They were kind enough to bring her up. This is going to be so much fun, you guys. She was a handful. We sent oh the gosh. hardest, most difficult so child. Many potty breaks. <laughs> I will say though, how many stops did you guys make? Two. Two. Okay, that's not bad, but it's twice as many as we took. <laughs> we only had one stop the entire time. Could not be more impressed with the kids. But you guys, we are going to get ourselves in the house, into bed. We've got a full day of fun tomorrow. We're going to be doing some jet skiing. We're going to go tour the south side of the lake. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> I'm loopy. Everybody's very tired. Very long drive. But you guys, Maddie, of course, is here. We had so many questions about that on Instagram, and I wanted to reply, but I had to surprise everybody with this big, ah. epic reveal. Maddie is, of course, here. Dan and Shell as well, taking some stunning <laughs> photography, some cinematic footage over on their channel. But we are going to get into bed, ready for an amazing day tomorrow. I'm go tuck him in. Tuck the old man in. We will see you guys for a full day of fun on the lake. That's the lake right there, next to the street, tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 So much fun. And of course, I'm <laughs> Santa Claus. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Luffy. <loopy>. Yeah. <laughs>